gang so if any of y'all have a 04 to 06 gto and you are seeing water on top of your seal here and then it's getting into your floorboard if your car is sitting at any type of angle on either side of the car i'm going to show you what the problem is and how to fix it so the problem is behind your door here and what is happening i'll show you what is happening is your door liner here, the seal down here is not sealed properly. And what's happening is water is getting in here, getting into this seal and then flowing into your car on top of the seal and then into your floorboard. That's the problem. So as you can see here, mine, somebody has been in here before and they tore all this up to do some speaker work, I'm assuming, because there's an amp in this car and there are some aftermarket, uh, speaker wires in here but yeah you can see they've torn all of this torn that torn all that up torn all of this up torn that one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show y'all not only how to fix this problem but how to prevent it because even if you replace this seal down here and you redo all of this water will still get on top of this seal on the inside and it'll just sit up there and it'll eventually wear that seal down and then it'll come through again or it'll wear like like you see you can see right there that's not sealed and the water will just come out right there and then like right here same thing it'll just come out right there so i'm going to show you how to fix it and how to prevent it so of course first thing we need to do is we need to take the door panel off now i've already got this one fixed so we're not going to take the door panel off but i'm going to show you how to do it so first thing you need to do you want to pull your interior fuse light uh the interior light fuse excuse me which is this one right here if you pull this down this cover down it'll have the diagram in there unless someone has taken off but if you don't have the diagram it's third from the top on the left side it should be a 10 amp fuse mine had been replaced with a 20 amp for some reason i don't know why um but it's a 10 amp fuse from the factory and then you just pull that out disconnect it set it somewhere to the side for your power mirror switch, just pull it out from the top. The plug is kind of difficult, but it will come unplugged. Just disconnect that, put it over to the side somewhere. This right here, this is clipped in around here and then it has a, um, a like a push pin type of tab stuck in there. Unfortunately, you'll probably break it, but if you have a pick, what you'll do is you'll, you'll push this forward and around right and it's just going to kind of pop out and it's going to hang here loose by this push pin and if you stick a pick in there you might be able to push on the sides to squeeze it down and it'll pop out i didn't break this one thankfully i unfortunately broke the other side but you can just get another push pin to put in it and then replace it once you get it out so it's not that big of a deal and then over here on the lock you're going to push it up until that little slot is visible and then you just get a pick or something in there to pop that out and that'll come out be careful this little red tab has little like arms that uh clamp onto a screw in here and the threads on that are plastic so if you break that or if you strip out those threads you're gonna have to replace it um so you'll you'll pop that out this will slide up there's a screw on this piece behind this little indicator so then come over here get a little pick pop that little cover out and there's a screw in here take that screw out my handle just kind of came out easily what i did was i pushed it backwards and then rotated it forwards and it came out of the hook so i'll show you how the hook works real quick it hooks in like so so here's the hook and it just hooks in like this and so what i did like i said i just pushed it back a little bit and pushed this part in and it unhooked what you might have to do if it's too tight you might have to put a pick in here and push this little arm forward to get it off of the the door handle i didn't have to do that though mine was able to just come out like that and then there's going to be two screws so you you've got this one to get the door handle itself out then there's another one behind this door handle so there's two screws right there right there is the screw here that i mentioned 
two screws here on the side, and then there are three screws along the bottom in these little tabs. You don't have to take these out, that's just to the door. This is the only one connected to the car. Take that one out, those three. And then there's one in this corner by the speaker. And then there's one up here in this little crack. You'll either need to get a stubby screwdriver or a, a ratchet with a Phillips head. And then you just pick the door up and pull it off. There are no tabs. So there's no tabs to worry about popping out or breaking or anything like that. As you can see here, there are no tabs. The, this is just where the screw goes in. That's all that is. Screw goes in there, screw goes in there, 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 and there. There are no tabs to worry about breaking. And then of course, this one over here, so. All right, and for taking off this plastic piece, the best way to do it is to have a razor blade, not to cut the plastic, but to cut the sealant, okay? You wanna cut the sealing stuff in here, not the plastic. That is if you wanna keep it. This, I'm gonna replace all this. I'm gonna show you all how to do that as well. I'm gonna replace this whole plastic liner. I'm not gonna reuse this because it's all torn up. It's all mangled and I don't wanna have to try and like piece it together and have it fail later on. The driver's side was pretty good. They tore they tore it here at the, at the handle, but that's not a big deal. But at, on the driver's side, it wasn't all screwed up like this, thankfully. I think they did this side first and then realized that all they needed to do was pull this down here or whatever because that this is where it was messed up on the driver's side, but it wasn't torn. It's just the seal was messed up on the driver's side right here. So we're gonna just pull this off and discard it. And then I'm gonna show you how to replace it if you need to, just in case you tear it or somebody else has torn it in the past. And so you see here how this bottom seal here is all dirty and grimy. It's like that along the entire bottom of the seal right what's happening is water is splashing in from here catching the liner and then just sitting in here and then it just cr creates dust and dirt and everything and gets stuck in this seal and then you know there you go it corrodes the seal so water is supposed to go in here and drain out the bottom of the door in here there's already drain slots in there but what happens is, if, you know, sometimes if water comes in here and splashes onto the um, liner and hits that and then goes down in here and then corrodes your bottom seal. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to put some sealer around here, around here, and just a little bit under here, right? And then we're actually going to take some plastic, the same plastic that we're going to use to replace this, and we're going to put a seal on the inside of this and drape that plastic inwards so that any water that hits this is going to sheet down that plastic to these drain holes down in here and that's how we're going to do that we're just going to cut a little slot in here so that it'll go around these this wiring and we won't mess with any of that wiring we're not even gonna have to touch it in the sense of unplugging anything or cutting anything or anything like that we're just going to slot the plastic so it'll slide over it and then it'll sheet that water down. Cause all we want to do is we just want to prevent it from getting to this point, getting caught between the, the liner and the door and then corroding our seal down here. That's our goal, all right? And there are two ways to cut out the plastic that you need, okay? First one is to lay your plastic on the ground. I've actually got the sticky side down for a couple reasons. One, I don't want it to stick to the part that we're gonna cut and then me end up tearing that piece that we're cutting or anything like that. And this won't stick to the ground to cause any problems. Like this stuff isn't super goopy. It'll just peel right off. Uh, at least this, the factory stuff anyways. If someone has gone in and resealed it, if they use something different, then it, it could be pretty goopy and you might not want to do this. But anyway, first, this is our first option. We'll lay this down. We'll lay the plastic over it, razor blade it, the outline that we need, right? Now, if some jackwad has taken this out of your car or this is torn up beyond all repair and you can't do this, you have another option, all right? You can either have someone hold up the plastic to the door and you can, you know, cut it, right? Let me back up so y'all can see. You can have someone hold it up there and you can cut it the way you want it. Or you can go ahead and run all the sealant that you need around the outline and then just take a big sheet and just stick it on there. Just stick it on there, you know, put do the top first, pull it down, 
do the bottom and then any excess that's out here just cut it and it's that simple so those are your your two ways of doing this since i still have the liner and it's intact enough for the shape that i need i'm just gonna do it right here off the car so i don't have the wind bothering me because it's kind of windy today and all of the other kinds of stuff we'll just drape the plastic over it and razor blade the outline that we need all right and there's that so of course it's not perfect but you know no one's gonna see it it's behind the door it just has to cover everything and we can trim it more once we get it on the door so not a big deal so we got that cut and now what we want to cut is we want to cut that little piece out like i mentioned to make that uh water sheet and what i'm probably going to do i'm probably just going to cut right across here and use this section right here all right and then so what i've done here is just hung it on the old uh ceiling just to just check everything because as much as i trust my outlining and cutting skills <laughs> you still want to make sure before you hang all the sealant and get all that goopy crap on here and then you want to cut your holes for this wiring my razor blade was kind of dull unfortunately so i didn't get a very clean cut here so i just kind of tore it a little bit but it's okay because it's sealed and then we're going to seal it around here as well but it's got this grommet that does pretty well um, but we're going to seal it around here anyway so no big deal and then here th this was all torn up from there oh yeah i got to do the door handle too i just remembered that but um yeah just need a little hole there for that to stick through and then here i'm gonna get a fresh blade and i'm just gonna cut that out right there just that and these screw holes here i'm not going to worry about because the factory screws are pointy self tappers so they'll punch right through that so i'm not worried about cutting those or anything i'm just going to let the screws do their work and punch through it themselves
and there it is i'm waiting on a led to put in there so i'm not gonna put that in there yet i'm just leaving it as it is but got all the screws back in got the lock button back in door handle back in all those screws in and yeah that's that so when putting the bottom on you're going to need both hands one to kind of push it together to squeeze that sealant and then the other to put the screws in but that's that guys i hope that helps you i hope you don't have any more leaks um and if you have any questions feel free to comment thanks